Welcome to Bedtime History. Imagine you are in Europe. The year is 1895, and you live in Poland. Life is changing quickly at this time. Many people have been moving to cities for work or to America to start a new life. But you are a happy child, loving life with your four older siblings. Your father is a math and science teacher, and from him you have come to love math and science as well. However, you do not yet realize that one day you will become one of the most famous scientists in the world. You are Marie Curie. Marie Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland in 1867. She was the youngest daughter of five children. When she was born, her name was Marie Sklodowska. She changed her name to Marie Curie later when she got married. Marie was a happy child and she became interested in science at a young age. She was very smart and got good grades in school. Sadly, when Marie was only 10, her mother died. She had become sick with tuberculosis. Marie was raised by her father and became more and more interested in math and physics. Physics is the branch of science concerned with nature and the properties of matter and energy. Even though Marie got top grades in her high school, she was not able to go to university when she graduated. The reason was because the university in Warsaw was a men's only university at the time. Marie was very disappointed, but she continued to learn about the subjects that she loved however she could. One way was through a secret school that taught university type courses at different locations around the city. Marie's older sister, Branya, also loved learning and the two girls dreamed of going to America to study at university there. However, Marie and Branya were not rich, so they could not pursue this dream of studying in America together. To pursue means to seek to accomplish a goal over a long period of time. Despite this problem, Marie and Branya did not give up in their hope of going to university. The two girls made a deal with each other. They would attend university in Europe, however, they would not go together. They decided that Marie would work and pay for Branya to live and attend university in Europe, and afterwards Branya would work and pay for Marie to attend. For five years, from the age of 19 to 24, Marie worked as a tutor and a nanny for children. She sent most of the money that she made to her sister, and in her spare time, Marie would study and read about math and science. When Marie was 24, she moved to Paris and started attending university at the Sorbonne, a famous university in France. Marie received money every month from Branya. However, it was not enough to live and eat well. Marie ate mostly bread and butter, and because she was not eating a healthy diet, she got sick very often. Despite these hardships, Marie finished a master's degree in physics and a degree in math. Shortly after Marie graduated from the Sorbonne, she met a man named Pierre Curie. Pierre was a professor of physics. A professor is a teacher in a college or university. Marie and Pierre were introduced by a friend of Marie's in order for Marie to try to find lab space for an experiment she was going to conduct. Marie and Pierre fell in love and they were married in 1895. They both loved science and physics. They worked together investigating radioactivity. Radioactivity is a process in which parts of matter break down and create energy. In 1898, the Currys discovered two new chemical elements, polonium and radium. This was an amazing discovery, and they were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903. In 1906, Pierre had an unfortunate accident. He was knocked down by a carriage when he was crossing the road, and he died. Marie was sad, but she took over his work after his death, including his teaching post at the Sorbonne. In doing so, she became the first woman to teach at the Sorbonne. She devoted herself to continuing the work that she and Pierre had started together. In 1911, she received a second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry. The work that the Currys did was important in the development of X-ray technology. X-rays are electromagnetic waves of high energy and very short wavelength. They are able to pass through many materials that light cannot. X-rays are used for surgeries and other medical procedures. They are able to keep, help create images of what is inside of our bodies. Doctors can then use these X-rays to figure out what's wrong with someone 
and where to operate if necessary. During World War I, Marie helped ambulances have x-ray machines, and she taught them how to use them. She also volunteered with the ambulances and drove to the front lines in war to help wounded soldiers. Marie became the head of the International Red Cross Radiological Services. The International Red Cross is a famous organization that helps protect victims during wars. In the 1920s, when Marie was in her 50s, she unfortunately developed leukemia, which is a type of cancer. This is due to her exposure to radiation from her research, and she, del- she died in 1934. Marie Curry's determination and hard work during her lifetime brought about amazing scientific developments that impact us all still today. As a woman physicist, she was a trailblazer in her field and faced backlash for her participation in science. But Marie was strong and determined, and she persisted in doing the work that she loved anyways. As a result, our medical and scientific world was changed. Is there something that you are passionate about? With hard work and determination like Marie Curry, you can also make a difference in the world and in the things you are interested in. The key is to identify what you love and to carry on despite times that are hard or backlash that you face from others. If you believe in something and you want to make a difference, you can do it.